Advanced Principles Podcast, or APP, was created to be an outlet for like-minded individuals to share in the broader conversations on leadership, retail market updates, and incredible personal success stories. On APP, you will hear a collection of stories from the titans of the retail industry, as well as thought and practice leaders covering the spectrum of the economy. Please click the subscribe button and look for the newest episodes to be released. Uh, but now looking back at it, it was an amazing journey. You know, for everyone to roll up their sleeves, dig in, mix, bottle, pack, ship. It made me even more dedicated and excited about the move that I made. I think X Micro is a fantastic fit um, for RV dealers and provides great benefit to the consumer. Certainly, you were a big part of, of my journey into Zylon and kind of managing the onset of the pandemic. So you joined Zylon, um, uh, certainly on a growth initiative. I think your, your uh, track record and history with all of your professional uh, stops along the way have been that you've been uh, the guy to help get a company off the ground or grow it significantly or some combination of the two. Um, Kevin comes in with all of, all of his credibility and experience, um, and then bam, COVID comes out. Um, so you're in this space in amazingly high demand. I know that I became a quick student of Zylon and all of the regulatory hurdles that were out there and misconceptions. And I found myself on calls to state and federal agencies about all the different you know, registration numbers and you know, the misconception of being certified and all that. Right. So talk a little bit about just kind of that six week frenzy in the phone calls uh, that you were receiving and some of the things that you saw going on in the industry that I know personally made you and Kevin very uncomfortable. Yeah, so that's an in, that's another interesting question. When we when I joined Zylon, it, like in anybody's transition to a new opportunity, you um, you really go in, you know, eyes wide open, excited, want to learn as much as you can about their world and and what they're doing. And so I had my my eyes squarely on their operations, Zylon's operations, and how I could assist in uh, making those operations uh, run smoother uh, or simplify them. And then a week later to 10 days later, uh, I remember getting that call from our claims manager saying, Rich, uh, we, we, we've just been sent home. It was, we, our claims offices and administrative offices were in Brea, California. And uh, the claims manager said, it's time for everybody to go home. They're sending us home. And I went, what, what do you mean sending us home? Um, and they, they just basically shut Orange County down and wow. sent everybody home. So that was uh, pure confusion. Um, and then uh, our, our, uh, administer, our chemistry offices, where we, we actually manufacture the chemistry and then ship it, is in our, our facility is in Bend, Oregon. And in Oregon, they did basically the same thing. Uh, we, we sent all of our sales personnel up to our Bend operation just so that we could use them to start boxing and mixing uh, chemistry uh, wow. so that we could try and get it out to our dealers. And so that confusion and that fast pace was exhilarating. Uh, you know, we didn't sleep a whole lot, but uh, it, was a, it, it was very, very... Uh, you know, un, it, it was uncertain times. We didn't know, you know, what was next. Really unclear what was going to happen to the automotive industry itself. Were they going to continue to keep selling cars or, you know, how was this all going to work? And yeah. so a lot of uncertainty. Uh, but there, it, then again, there was a lot of excitement too. And, and so I, I just really had to buckle down and try to learn this industry from the, from the bottom up, um, from, from the individual, uh, you know, chemical uh, forward. And so that was a huge learning curve for me, very, uh, very educational. Um, and so we, we, we managed that process really, really well. It was more trying to get the chemistry made in inboxes and get it out to dealers. That was our biggest challenge. Um, the EPA who monitors this chemistry uh, is very, very strict on what you can say and what you can't say. And so um, we have an amazing network uh, of people that are able to, you know, look into social media, look into uh, from the outside in to monitor and uh, make sure that we're saying and doing the right things. Uh, and so that piece was a, you know, I stepped in it a, a lot um, 
just just from a lack of knowledge standpoint. And and so, but that's how you learn. And and uh, we evolved from that really really strong. And it's been nothing but an upward, uh, you know, an upward climb since then. So it's uh, it was it was a good, you know, I look back at it. At the time, I was, you know, really uh, a little, little bit hesitant, a little just really didn't know what was around the corner. Uh, but now looking back at it, it was an amazing journey. Yeah, I bet you found out a lot about your team, which was, was still totally new to you, did. actually. But, you know, for everyone to roll up their sleeves, dig in, mix, bottle, pack, ship. I, what, what a testament to the company that you joined. That had to be, you know, not that you needed it, but instant validation. That oh, it was. I, I, I'm now with, I, I'm with great people. Yep. Yep. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. I'm, it, it really, uh, yeah. I mean, you're, you're dealing with adversity, you're trying to figure it out, trying not to make the wrong move. Uh, you're trying to make sure that you take care of your dealers, you know, constant, the, the zoom world, the, <laughs> yep. the, the conference calls, the, you know, that, that was, you know, and you just, you were on it all day and, and, uh, be, dealing with a West coast company couldn't get in an airplane and, and get out there very easily. And so it was uh, up in the morning early and going to bed late, late at night and yeah. just repetitive seven days a week. Wow. Uh, but it was, it was a lot of fun. It, yeah, I want to say fun, but it was a, it was an education process, but yeah, it definitely uh, showed me who I was working with and the type of people that I was working with, which I was, it made me even more dedicated and excited about the move that I had made. Yeah, that's fantastic. So there were two uh, main products, two two chemistries that we really latched on to early that um, you and um, Mitch and Kevin all helped educate me. And I know I was one of those agents that was texting you and calling you and <laughs> yeah. leaving you absurd messages with crazy questions um, because yeah. I was trying to learn so we didn't misrepresent uh, because I saw so many misrepresentations going on based upon how you all were educating me. Um, but Fresh Start and X Micro, um, which... Correct was a true recipe, uh, no pun intended, for success for the dealers. Um, so maybe spend a little time kind of talking about um, the, the, the success of those products. And they weren't new products. It's not like, hey, COVID's right. out, let's quick mix up a batch of this. Right, right. Longstanding, very reputable uh, products in your lineup, but they were the absolute right um, chemistry mix for the situation that we all found ourselves in. So talk a little bit about both of those and how they benefit dealers and ultimately the end consumer that were buying the vehicles. So um, Fresh Start, I'll start with Fresh Start. Fresh Start uh, is a sanitization product that when put onto a surface uh, can help uh, basically eliminate any odor causing germs, viruses. Um, it really um, extinguishes. You, you, the the misrepresentation out there is, and, and it's everywhere, um, Lysol, any, anytime you look at a can, uh, you know, in, in the grocery store that you're picking up at that time, you're trying to find sanitization wipes and things that will, will quote, kill viruses. Um, that's probably the biggest misrepresentation is you can't kill a virus. You can only render it inactive. And so, um, and, you, and you're never going to have something that's perfect. It's not, you know, you, you may spray fresh start on a surface and it may extinguish what's on that surface, but, um, you know, it's not going to prevent that a new virus from coming in and, and attaching itself to the, to that particular surface. So, um, sanitization with fresh start, um, that product is amazing. It, it does a great job in the automobile as from the, you know, I'm, I'm from the retail end, obviously, as we've spoken, um, getting in a used car was always one of those things that I, you know, you get the smells of the previous owner or, or the musty, you know, whatever smoke. Um, fresh start put on properly can eliminate a lot of those odors. Mm -hmm. um, uh, we have, a, we have a, a, a test kit that we send out to all new agents and in it is some simulated odor, um, terrible smelling. You put it on a piece of paper and then take fresh start immediately after spray it on, you know, whatever the surface is, whether it be paper or, or fabric and that, uh, that, that smell or that odor goes away. And wow. it's not a masking agent. It's, it's really a removal and it, it, it's got a lot of different applications, but it is really a very, very unique product that does a great job. And so that was, that was the product that we really wanted to get out there uh, during that pan when the pandemic first hit. 
Uh, and Fresh Start is a, just a, a once application. You just want to get it on and then continue to put it on thereafter. Mm -hmm. uh, but it, it provides protection now. It doesn't provide protection long term. Um, X microbe uh, does. It, that is the preventative or the the uh, the product that has some of the same characteristics as Fresh Start, but it really prevents and helps prevent uh, odor causing germs and viruses. And so X microbe I love because um, I, I I took X microbe and put it in. I just bought an old house and we put it in our our vents and it just completely uh, prevented, you know, microbes, different things from attaching itself to the vent. So can you imagine what it does to your, to your car um, yeah. sprayed in the, the uh, you know, the air vents and, and the carpets and the, the different surfaces within the automobile, it, it really does help prevent uh, anything from, from occurring later down the line. And the residual effect of that is helping against stains. Um, it really does a, it does a very good job there too. So it's really an all in one. Um, I, I really like the product um, and I, I use it, you know, every day. Yep. Yep. And, it, and it's, to me, it's a great one, two punch um, with fresh start being applied um, and then X microbe coming in on top of that to provide the long lasting benefit um, it is absolutely tremendous. And, you know, people live in their, their vehicles, their cars, right. um, exactly. and they're eating in them, they're drinking in them, uh, they're road tripping in them. There's, there's stuff going everywhere in those things. So I think to kind of keep that uh, fresh, clean smell in there for a, a, a period of time is exceptional. But, you know, we're not only in the automotive space. I think, um, you know, X Microbe and Fresh Start have tremendous application in the RV space, which I know Kevin is oh, yeah. a passionate RVer. Yep. Um, and that is when you talk about people living in their vehicle, they are living in their vehicle. And um, I think X microbe is a fantastic fit um, for RV dealers and provides great benefit to the consumer. And you guys have a great presence in the RV space. We do. Um, and we, we really, uh, we identify with the RV owner. Uh, we love the RV space. We've got a lot of great, very dedicated dealers who, uh, who, who want to take care of their customers long term. Um, you know, just sort of going back to uh, Xylon and, and our ability to do things differently, um, because we're the chemistry provider, we can provide the RV dealer with a full service solution from hand sanitizer to fresh start uh, to extinguish what's in the RV at that time, and then the X microbe to seal and protect for later down the line. But we provide those type of programs uh, for dealers who want to preload, again, because we make our own, uh, manuf we manufacture our own chemistry, we can afford to send the dealer. Um, we've got a lot of great dealers with, with you guys uh, that mm -hmm. basically put that product on ahead of time to help protect their customer as they're looking at the RV, but then uh, protect them down the line uh, when they own the RV. So uh, we're very, very excited about our growth potential in the RV space. And and we continue to grow every day. We, we're, we're continuing to add new dealers across the country, uh, want to get into the, to the Canadian market with that product uh, because we believe that there's a need there too. And so we're, we're excited about uh, the opportunity down the line, especially in the RV space. Yeah. Now you've mentioned it a couple of different times. One of the differentiators is you mix your own chemistry. Yeah. Um, and I was, I was new to all of this as I was exploring it. Um, but I was amazed at how many companies don't, that right. they rely on companies like you to mix right. their chemistry and they just repackage it in a different label and off and off they go. So tell us what that really means kind of from a practical application and the benefit that uh, agents and dealers can see from that, from you owning the manufacturing process. It, it, it's purely, in my opinion, it gives us flexibility. It, 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 it's it gets our, it's, it's about, in the end, it's about cost and flexibility. If we can keep the cost low, we can pass that on to the dealer or the agent. Um, and, and then we can afford to allow the dealer or agent to preload. There, there's the, 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 the struggles in our world have always been in, in, as a, as a contracts guy in a dealership, I looked for chemist interior and exterior providers to um, to basically um, you know take you know to to you know I looked at that Brian let's just take a break for a second we do that yeah 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 so 
Um, I just got to get, I kind of no, lost my good. train of thought. Um, let's grab a. So as a chemistry, as I was in retail, um, I looked at chemistry providers for three reasons. I wanted them to be able, I wanted the chemistry to be able to get on the vehicle quickly uh, because I, I didn't want um, it to prohibit me from spotting vehicles uh, mm -hmm. in the auto space. Yep. And the same thing really occurs sometimes in the RV space. Mm -hmm. um, and I wanted that product to last. Uh, so I wanted it to be on, you know, the contract was really my most, uh, you know, the thing that I focused on the most. Um, but I wanted the product to last and I wanted that company to pay claims. And so the, for the first two of those, uh, making sure that the product can get on easy and making sure that it lasts, as a chemistry producer, we have a lot of flexibility there. We can add products with super glue type quality that can stick to the existing paint uh, and then also be able to be added or put onto the vehicle uh, whether it be an RV or an automobile, um, quickly. So there are provide there are other providers out there that have that ability to uh, produce a chemistry that la that gets onto the vehicle and lasts. But you need a respirator to put it onto the vehicle, uh, mm -hmm. onto the RV or onto the car. Um, in the in our world, you can do an automobile in 20 minutes. Our exterior product, um, you can do probably 10 minutes on the inside. And so as chemistry producers, it gives us the ability to be able to produce a product that will stick to the surface, last, and it'll be able to go on quickly. And we can, we can keep that cost down because we're the manufacturer, but also allow the dealer to put the product on all of their vehicles so that they can, uh, you know, you know, again, have it be a faster process for them when they deliver that vehicle. So it just, it gives us flexibility and it allows us to keep the price down. Yeah, yeah, I think it's fantastic. And, um, you know, we've talked a lot about the interior products that you provide, which I think are exceptional and, and absolutely perfect for today's environment and have been for a long period of time. But I, you do a tremendous amount of exterior application as well. And I, I kind of equate exterior application to reinsurance is that right. there's just all different kinds of names and fancy terminology out there. Um, and, and dealers are misled as to actually how long it's going to last, what it's actually going to protect, what the product warranty really is. And I think Zyland does a great job of just breaking that down, right? kind of following Thank your you. guise of simplistic form and presentation and the application. I, I'm a firm believer the application has to be a quick process as well. If you're going to get buy-in from the dealer, the general manager, the sales manager, F&I, and let's not forget, get ready, right? The right. detail shop has to, they don't want to spend three or four hours uh, taking off what's there and then hand applying something else. They want to be in and out, but still provide the customer great benefit. So let's talk about, you know, kind of where your exterior products are right now, how they fit in and, and the benefits that you're providing to customers on the outside of the vehicles as well. well uh, one of the things that uh, shocked me as I, and I, I'd been in the business for a, a while, obviously, um, I never really took a look at how tree sap or bird droppings affect the exterior of the automobile. I always, again, wanted to get the product on the car as quickly as possible before coming to Zylon. Quite frankly, it really didn't matter to me. I just wanted to get, I wanted to get that contract in the customer's hands mm -hmm. and I wanted that sale. Uh, as long as, you know, of course, if the customer understood what they purchased, but as a, as a salesperson, I didn't really understand how things can affect the paint of your automobile. Uh, the big, the greatest example of, the, of that is how, how cars are shipped into the dealership. I was at an Audi dealership the other day, um, and they've, they almost put a jacket around the car now uh, to protect the car before it reaches the dealer's lot. And it's because environmental fallout, different things that occur with the environment that will eat through that surface. Mm -hmm. uh, once it gets through that clear coat, you're done. It's a repaint. Uh, Xylon has a very unique process or very unique chemistry that, again, adheres to the surface and provides a very, very nice uh, uh, fill of all of the microscopic holes that are in 
paint or in clear coat fills those, seals those, and protects those long term. Uh, I, I, I really have uh, come to appreciate the exterior coatings world and what it can do to your automobile. I immediately put uh, our uh, exterior coating on my truck and uh, the, the appearance of it was amazing, but, but also uh, I live in an area where there's a lot of trees and mm -hmm. you know, there's tree sap that falls on my truck all the time. Uh, I'm, I've become a nut about making sure that, you know, I keep it clean and, and, and but Xylon protects and I'm very, very uh, pleased with, you know, how, it, how, how the exterior coating has protected my vehicles, my family's vehicles, but also our customers. So uh, I have an appreciation for that exterior product uh, very, very much. Yeah. And I think there's so much value in it. And I think it's still the large part of stores, I think, do a poor job of representing the product. Right. Um, the chemistry and the application of it and the benefit, the long-term benefit, you know, part of the reason that that customers in there buying a new or new to them RV or auto is because of the look and feel of the vehicle. Um, you right. know, they pull up to the lot, they're all shiny, they're clean. They, you know, it goes for delivery. Again, it's all clean and shiny. And then three to six months in, you know, things start to fade a little bit just because they're not keeping up with the cleansing and the waxing and all of that. Whereas Xylon comes in and it helps them keep that new car, new RV look and feel for a much longer period of time and enhances the overall value of it. And that benefits them at time of trade in as well. And I think the more education that can be done out there through the FNI department, or like you said, and I love the suggestion on a preload or an addendum on the front end, just as part of the benefit of doing business with us, is um, tremendous. And I think there's a great opportunity there. And I hope that. Um, you know, people take the opportunistic moment of the pandemic and continue forward. And we continue to see penetration rates climb because of the tangible benefits of the customer, first and foremost. But then also there's a great profitability aspect in, in the transaction. And then the reinsurance benefit that we talked on. Are, are you forecasting some of the same things? Oh, for sure. Um, you know, we have a, we have, a, in, and just to add to that, um, I, I think that by by our ability to be able to uh, allow a preload, even though you're not, you know, you're not uh, paying for that contract up front. Again, being a producer that's able to provide that to a dealer, we can make their existing inventory look better. Um, we have, you know, obviously our new to used ratio in most of our our dealers today used is going, you know, a little bit either they're selling two used to one new mm -hmm. just because of availability. And so to make that used vehicle stand out on the lot by preloading the product, there's a lot of benefit there. We also have a great windshield product that is that is a wonderful addition to that preload uh, type of an environment because a test drive in the rain in those, you know, at that time, it really makes a difference when uh, the rain can basically come off the windshield in a sheet opposed to, you know, uh, windshield wipers, you know, flopping around. So mm -hmm. uh, from a merchandising standpoint, I think we, we have, we provide a great benefit. Uh, but I, I, you know, again, we, we really enjoy the relationships with our dealers who want to preload the product for obvious reasons. Um, but we think that there's, you know, uh, if, if it's on the, if it's on the vehicle, it's going to protect the vehicle. The customer is going to be happier. Uh, I, I just think it's going to make a, a, a better process all from, from A to Z. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So the, the next challenge that may, may face us, and, and, and we're all you know, dealing with the electric, electrification of the industry and everything else that comes with that, but also kind of the digital. There, there's so many conversations going on about the digital journey and customers buying vehicles the way that they buy sweatpants off of Amazon, right from the comfort of their own living room and on the couch. Right. How do you, how do you, you foresee the industry representing the benefits of a windshield of an exterior or of an interior product application and product warranty in the digital world? Well, first off, if a producer of any product specifically in, in my world, isn't embracing the digital world, they're crazy. I mean, you, you have to embrace that. So that part of it's under our control. We, we as a company have to embrace the fact that customers are buying cars, uh, RVs, sight unseen over the, you know, over the internet. And so um, education, you know, I've always been, a, I've always been a, a, an advocate of 
you know, present the product and its benefits, show the customer where that benefits their world, and then allow them it to make a decision. And so if you can digitally introduce your product through video, through some different ways, uh, demonstrate the different things that could happen, paint misery, if you will, um, to show them, you know, what could happen. I think if you can do that effectively, you, you create the need for the product. And then it's up to the customer. The customer needs to decide whether that fits in their world or it doesn't. Mm -hmm. uh, but I, I really just simply, you have to embrace it. You have to show, uh, you have to use video. You, you have to be able to um, articulate to the customer um, exactly why the product's needed on their vehicle. Yeah, I think that's fantastic. And I do think that there's a, you know, the level of trepidation out there is high, which is causing people to not embrace where we're going and they continue to try to fight it. Whereas if you, like you said, just embrace it, go with it. Picture speaks a thousand words. I think that's something right out of the impact days yep, and yep, yep. Um, continue to transition forward. And the customers will make a good decision when they're properly informed. And you can do that remotely as we've all found out this last year. So I think that's, that's tremendous insight. Yep. And also just to add to that, um, our claims department, as one of the things that I probably um, have the most pride in, I shouldn't say the most, but I have a lot of pride in where we've come as a company as it relates to claims. Um, we've done a great job with putting a Q code on our contracts uh, that enables a customer to scan and file a claim uh, right online. So wow. d displaying that to the customer before they buy the product, I think is super important also. Mm -hmm. uh, making that, showing that process of how easy it is to file a claim if in, if in fact that time does arrive. Yeah. arise. And, and so I think that needs to be a part of the presentation uh, when, you're, when you're basically selling a product or selling an automobile uh, via the internet. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So we've covered a lot. Uh, it's been awesome. So what, what, you know, a little glimpse into the crystal ball uh, for both yourself and Xylon, what does the future hold? I know I can only imagine that there's, you know, there's people back mixing pots of chemistry back there, ex experimenting <laughs> with new solutions and, and uh, uh, ratios and everything. So what does is, what is the future look like? Well, in, as you said, improvement continuing to evolve with the chemistry is, has to be first and foremost. I mean, we, we have to keep evolving and, and making our product different, better than it is today. If we, if we stop doing that, then we're not going to grow. So we continue to do that. We're looking at uh, different ways in, in, in order to make that the surface uh, appear better, get a better shine out of the vehicle. Um, we've got a product, which we didn't talk about, uh, called Diamond Grade, which is made for high-end vehicles. Um, I think that's a part of our future. It, it, it's, a, it's a product that I've never seen a, the surface look shinier. It's, it's basically a mirror. Uh, it's an amazing, amazing product. So I think the appearance is a, a big piece. Um, continue evolution of, of the, uh, the virus world and, mm -hmm. and making sure that we're on top of that, making sure that we're developing products and chemistries that that uh, basically embrace that world and, and help the customer feel comfortable about coming to the dealership, whether it be in the service department or the sales department. Um, I also believe that Canada, as I mentioned before, is a great market for us. I think that's a, something in our future. Um, we've come out with a new uh, touchscreen. We're coming out with a new touchscreen uh, warranty, a product that can go on uh, th those information centers wow. now. Um, in my truck as a has as a is a Dodge. I love it, and it has a, essentially an iPad in the uh, in the dash. And uh, to be able to put a chemistry on that that doesn't you know you don't see a lot of smudge and mm. and fingerprints, and to be able to protect that product or that screen, I think can be it can be a great product for us. So mm -hmm. um, evolution of product and and offerings, I think, is 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 another area. And then. You know, we, we, we need to always take care of our customer. We need to make sure that our first customer, the agent, our second customer, the dealer, and our third customer, the consumer, are, are taken care of. You know, my goal is to make Xylon the easiest company in our world to deal with. And so we want to continue to try to make it easier for everyone. Yeah, good for you. Good for you. So before we wrap, we're going to get into our fast five. Uh, there's going to be just five random uh, spontaneous questions that are kind of out, seem a little bit out of left field. 
Okay. Um, so are you ready for these? I, I am ready. All right, good. So you've traveled a lot. You've been in and out of a lot of dealerships, you know, at least 300 just with impact and then all the dealerships uh, since then. Um, craziest travel story uh, that you have? Craziest travel story. Wow. That one's, um, that one's tough. So um, just, it has to evolve around, you know, getting in an airplane, um, having uh, in an airplane, I, I was flying out of, out of Buffalo. Uh, we did when in the early impact days, we started our business. My partner and I started our business in Buffalo. And, and so that's, as, as everybody knows, that's a horrible, horrible uh, but part of the country in the wintertime with snow and wind. And so we were up in this small little MD-80 plane and, you know, it's a bad storm. And, uh, and all of a sudden the, the, the cockpit door, this is before 9-11 and cockpit door flies open and the, and the pilot starts screaming for the, for the, uh, steward, the, uh, the flight attendant to sit down. And so it, we go through this crazy, you know, uh, you know, circle back. We had an electrical shortage, and oh, it was just a complete wow. nightmare to get back. I was late for a dealer appointment the next day. It was just a, it was just one of those those things that happen to everybody on the road. So yeah, um, yeah, it's just one of those times. But that was probably the craziest. I, I went back to a hotel at night, just missed my appointments the next day and <laughs> thank my, thank my lucky stars. I was still there. That you got back on the ground safely. Yeah, <laughs> yeah absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So being in the chemistry business now, uh, being around it, obviously in the, in the retail space as general agent and, and sidecar. Um, and now as part of Zylon, um, craziest application mishap that you've either been a part of or witnessed. Oh, that's, that's easy. If you, if you, if you ever, if you remember uh, in the early days when I, when I was, a, when I was an agent, um, we had done a lot of etch products. And um, if you remember, they would, you'd put the window label on um, and, and then you'd rub the, it looked like a band roll on over the number. And that basically etched it into the glass. Well, um, the detail guy was being trained on how to apply that product. And he, he thought that it, the product would come out of the band roll on it, it faster if he squeezed the bottle uh, of acid. And so he, um, we had this expensive uh, Subaru that it, it was in uh, Vermont and we were, he was squeezing the tube and the thing busted and went all over the windshield uh, oh, wow. with acid. And uh, he turned white and was very nervous for his job immediately. But it, it caused uh, a lot of problems in the store. In the end, the dealer laughed and it was fine, but it was, I'll never forget it. It was amazing. Oh, wow. That's hilarious. <laughs> so uh, being from Vermont, uh, yeah. not a lot of people can claim that they're from Vermont. Yeah. A uh, relatively small state from a populist standpoint. I, tell me, have you ever had to kind of show, pull out a map and show people right where Vermont is? And how many times have you been asked about what it's like living in Vermont? Oh, for sure. I mean, they, 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 my favorite one is what state is that in? What state is Vermont in? <laughs> <laughs> what state is it in? Oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> so yeah, but uh, I love Vermont. Uh, I live on the coast of New Hampshire now, but I always enjoy going back to Vermont. It's just a beautiful, beautiful uh, state. Um, and a lot of my family is still there. And we really, really enjoy it. It's where I started in the, uh, I started selling cars there. So um, the dealership is still there today. So I, I, I enjoy I, anytime I can go back there. I, I definitely do. It's just a really beautiful state. Have you been there? I've not been to Vermont. I am absolutely going to go. I've got to do some East Coast skiing. Good. And uh, do some uh, summertime exploring in the mountains up there as well, because everything, uh, all of the pictures I have seen and all the stories that I've heard have been fantastic. And we actually just hired somebody from Vermont. Uh, they oh, good. Moved to Ohio from Vermont, but he absolutely loved it up there as well. Awesome. Yeah, it's a beautiful state. Yeah, yeah. So there's a big there's a big difference uh, in my perspective from East Coast and West Coast. Mm -hmm. You are now frequently between the two of them. Uh, yeah. So what are some of the dynamic differences whether it's personalities, geography, uh, topography, anything like that from East Coast to West Coast? It's definitely um, the time difference. It's, it's really difficult to stay 
Kevin does a great job with ed making sure that everybody has three clocks on their on their wall to understand, <laughs> you know, where what time zone people are in. And so um, it, it, it's it's probably the time. Um, the people are definitely different um, in in all aspects. I, you know, the Midwest. I I enjoy. You know, I'm starting to get into South Dakota, North Dakota, and those areas. I went to Sioux Falls, South Dakota, for the first time. Um, there are very few states I haven't been in yet. There are a handful, but um, I, I I really enjoy the change. Um, but to adapt, I think it's the time zone. Um, mm -hmm. Food wise, you know, I adapt to that. But but uh, people wise, I can I definitely adapt to that. Driving is a little different, of course. You know, I spent a lot of time in Boston because we're really close to Boston, and and so everybody considers uh, you know Boston as being one of the crazy places to drive in the country. I really think that California is the craziest place to drive in the country. <laughs> uh, but I would have to say the answer to your question, it would definitely be time zone. Just making, okay. you know, just trying to, you know, get used to the time zones. Yeah, yeah. So speaking of travel, um, certainly you've done a lot of it professionally. I would imagine you've done a little bit of it personally as well over yeah. the years. So yeah. where is your absolute go-to? I just can't wait to get away and unplug and, and decompress a little bit. Where's your go-to spot? That's, that's a really great question. So um, I love history. So Williamsburg, Virginia is mm. my, I really enjoy Williams and my family, our family uh, loves to go. We've been going there. My wife and I went on our honeymoon there. Um, when we go there, we completely unplug and it's, you know, it's not, it's not beach. It's not, you know, it's not a, a place where you sit out on a lounge chair and relax, but I love exploring history and that area is just full of it. And so we really, really enjoy it. Um, my daughter lives there now. Uh, we, haven't, we have a claim, we moved our claims office to Richmond, Virginia. Uh, and so I can get to, I just came from Richmond, I flew in last night. And so I, I just, I really enjoy Williamsburg and so does my family. Oh, that's very cool. Very cool, different, but very, very cool. Yeah. Uh, definitely speaks to the appreciation of the history, which maybe a few more people should take on uh, some yeah. more appreciation for U.S. history. Yeah, uh, it's, it's fantastic. <laughs> well, Rich, this has been great. Thank you so much for giving us such a phenomenal background on yourself, uh, Zylon, where the industry is going, how you're adapting and evolving, and um, what we can expect out of you and Zylon to come in the future. Awesome, Ryan. Thank you again. I really appreciate it. And this has been tremendous. And thank you again for the opportunity. I really appreciate it. All right. Thanks, Rich. Have a great day. You too. Bye. Hey, everybody. This is Michael from ADS. A big thank you to Richard for coming on app and sharing his experiences with us. A man who has participated in every space within the automotive world. Next week, we welcome Mason Samuels from True Wealth Advisors. We speak with him on how he got into wealth management and what it takes to lead his own office. For all the latest episodes, you can find app on Amazon Music, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcasts, iHeartRadio, YouTube, and our website. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thank you.